West Ham's Mikhail Antonio recently said if he played for Man City... If you had all those chances at Man City, 30 goals. 100%. 100%. If he could score 30, imagine how many goals the 57 players who scored more than him in this season's Premier League could get. But that got me thinking. Could a non-league striker go on to score 30 goals in this Man City team and even outscore Haaland? So as the new season hasn't kicked off yet, I'm still counting Paul Mullen as a non-league striker and as Man City's newest sign. I've got five attempts to get Paul Mullen to score at least 30 Premier League goals. Attempt number one though is a bit of a test run to try and set a baseline. I'm just going to use the preset 4-2-3-1 Gigan press and see what happens. I'm going to go on holiday for the season but make sure I tick use current match tactics and use current team selection when possible. That way Paul Mullen should be starting every single game. My big concern though is they're going to sub Paul Mullen off every single game at half time to bring on Erling Haaland because well, he's just a little bit better, I think. If that is the case, we might need to terminate Erling Haaland's contract for future attempts. So with the game set to simulate, I don't think we're gonna see Paul Mullen score many goals this season. I think five, 10 at most. A few moments later. Oh my word, he got 15 in the league and 22 in all competitions. Okay, maybe this does have some legs. Maybe we actually can do this. So he, he was being subbed on. I mean, why has he not been starting the matches? He was subbed off, but not actually at half time a lot, but I don't understand why he's been, oh, it's because I've been sacked. I lasted until April and then they sacked me for obviously playing a non-league striker up front. Need to make myself unsackable next time around. Man City came fourth to be fair, that's not bad going. And overall Mullen started 48 games and got 22 goals in the process. Erling Haaland though as you can see started 4 games and had 33 substitute appearances and scored 14 so that's what's limiting Paul Mullen right now. He's been subbed off at least 33 times probably. I am feeling way more confident to go into attempt number 2. So first of all let's use the in game editor to, to make myself unsackable and then I'm going to change formation. This has been my favourite formation throughout all of Football Manager but it's got two strikers and they're both going to score goals so we're going to adjust it slightly. We're going to move Grealish back out to the left wing, Paul Mullen through the middle, Bernardo Silva goes out on the right wing and then what I will do is move Rodri into the CDM spot De Bruyne goes there, but we'll make him the Mazala instead. And Gundogan can be the centre mid on attack. We'll make Grealish an inverted winger. Bernardo Silva can probably do the same thing, actually, to try and put balls in the middle to Mullen. And we'll go to a positive stance as well. Oh, and to ensure that Mullen doesn't get substituted, Erling Haaland, uh, we're going to terminate your contract, I'm afraid. And I think we'll do the same for Julian Alvarez as well. They're the two strikers, so they've got to go. He got 22 in all competitions last season. <laughs> I'd like to see him get at least 25. Ah, we've gone we've gone backwards. That's it's not really ideal, is it? He's still got the most amount of goals in the team. And the City still came fourth in the league, to be fair. Oh, it's Julian Alvarez, by the way, who's moved to Man United to become the Premier League's top scorer. It's like Carlos Tevez in reverse. I think instead what we do is maybe move De Bruyne into the attacking midfield to have him as an attacking midfielder on attack, maybe. Just try and help Mullen out a little bit more, but make our centre mids a little bit more defensive. So Gundogan, you can be a deep line playmaker on defend, and Rodri, you can be be a box to box midfielder. And actually whilst we're at it, let's make Kyle Walker a, a wing back on attack and Nathan Ake a wing back on attack as well. Just get them further forward, putting crosses into the middle. I think in general, being more attacking should help us out, create more chances for Mullen to score. A few moments later. Oh my word, it's worked out beautifully. 36 goals. That's incredible. I'm not sure if Antonio meant 30 goals in the Premier League or 30 goals in all competitions, but we've got 36 in all competitions and 21 in the Prem. In fact, it makes him the joint top scorer of this season with Harry Kane. Still can't quite win the league with Paul Mullen as the main striker though. So technically we have now beaten the challenger scoring 30 goals in a season. Now we move the goalposts. Can we beat the 52 that Erling Haaland got this season? I don't think we changed the formation or anything like that, but we just change a few instructions. I might go into every single player in the attacking midfield and ask them to shoot less often, which hopefully means they'll pass the ball to Mullen more. And actually, I think I'll ask my wingers to just put crosses into the center, so they're literally looking for Mullen. I'm really tempted to turn work ball into the box on, but I think that might slow our play down. We're actually quite fast with our play, trying to get the ball from the back to the front very quickly to take some easy chances. So I don't think I will use work ball into the box because I just think that will slow us down too much. 
Anyway, whilst this simulates into the future, it would be really lovely if you could subscribe to the channel. Uh, by the time the video comes out, we should have hit 100,000 subscribers. So if that is the case, thank you ever so much. It's an absolutely mental achievement. Um, so from the bottom of my heart, I love you. Thank you. We've actually hit this quicker than I thought it was going to happen. So I've got some stuff coming out soon, but it's not ready yet. So, um, you know, when it's ready, I'll let you know what you can get your hands on. Anyway, let's start work putting an extra zero on the end of 100,000. Oh no, um, can this attempt not count? Mullen's only got 17 goals this time around. That's, it's bad. He's actually been outscored by Kevin De Bruyne and Phil Foden, who's only come off the bench, has almost outscored him as well. And Mullen's not playing every single game. Bernardo Silva's made 58 appearances. Mullen's only made 49. Okay, so I think we have to revert a little bit for our final attempt. So first things first, we're gonna get rid of this uh, aim cross at the center and shoot less often on Bernardo Silva and De Bruyne and Grealish. But what I might do is just make one slight change here to Mullen and actually ask him to shoot less often because Shoot less often, ask players to retain possession and remain patient in search of more opportune moments at which to finally shoot. So actually, it's not telling my other players to not shoot and pass to Mullen instead, it's just telling them to be more patient and shoot when they get a better chance. So if we try that with Mullen, maybe he'll score more goals. Also, I am tactically inept at this sort of stuff, so I don't really know what else I can, I can make a change to. But if we don't beat Haaland's record with this final attempt, I will download the best tactic I can find and see if that can get Mullen to score 52 goals for Man City. Oh, it's not been good. It's really not been good. Uh, 26 goals. That's gone bad. He has got 12 in the Europa League though. Man City came third in their Champions League group behind Celtic, which put them in the Europa League where they lost to Man United in the semi-finals, who then went on to win the whole thing. But at least Paul Mullen has ended up with the Europa League golden boots, which is uh, <laughs> quite some achievement. But once again, he's been outscored by Kevin De Bruyne. So I, Kevin's too good. So one of our attempts got 36 goals. So we have technically completed Antonio's challenge, but I want to see if we can get those 52 goals that Haaland got this season. So I've looked on the FM based tactic tester. This one scored 370 goals and it looks like this in game. It's, it's very attacking. I'm a little bit concerned, but this might be the best chance we have of Paul Mullen scoring 52 goals. Whew. I mean, it's not quite 52, but 39 in all competitions and 30 in the Premier League itself. He is the Premier League's top scorer of his season as Man City go on to win the title. Okay, this tactic is pretty good. I mean, just for curiosity, actually, I didn't even check. Mullen's current ability is only 109. Haaland's, on the other hand, is 195. I mean, basically twice as good as Paul Mullen. I'm actually staggered we've been able to get 30 goals with Paul Mullen. That is ridiculous. But it maybe also shows just, you know, how not quite fully accurate foot manager could be. I don't actually think Paul Mullen would score 30 goals in the Premier League if he played a Man City's team. But who knows, maybe I am completely wrong and I am underrating him. If you enjoyed this challenge though, I think you'll enjoy this other one where I tried to destroy Tottenham Hotspur in Football Manager. Check it out.